Welcome. So what I have here, guys, is 5 pi over 6. And what I want to do is show you how to sketch the angle. Uh, so much fun for sketching angles. Why not? Uh, so to do this again, what we need to do is the most important thing is remembering what an angle is. And an angle is a rotation of rays about a vertex. Well, in this case, our vertex is going to be at the origin. And we're going to have one of these rays is going to be stationary. It's going to be fixed. It's not going to move. And that first ray is what we call our initial side of our angle. All right, so when we have one of our rays that's fixed in that position, we call this the standard position. We're going to rotate our rays, and we can either rotate them counterclockwise or clockwise. If we rotate them counterclockwise, that's what we call the positive direction. If we rotate them clockwise, that's what we call the negative direction. So now what I'm going to do is I need to determine, well, how far is 5 pi over 6? Well, 5 pi over 6, if I say you have 5, um, if you can have 5 slices, 5 sixths of a slice, well, you know that's not going to be all of the slices, right? You know, if I have six pieces of chocolate and I say you can have five of those pieces, we know that's not the whole. So we need to understand then, well, what is at least the whole? Well, remember, to do that, what we took is we took the radius and we wrapped it around the circle as many times as we could. And we noticed that wrapping the circle around, the number of times that we can wrap the radius around is going to be pi amount, right? So we can wrap around the radius round pi number of times, 3.14159, dot, 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 um, irrational number. So wrapping this, this is positive, so I'm going to rotate that direction. So wrapping it at, all the way around the circle would be pi. But if you're going to look at that as a whole, we could say that's 6 pi over 6. But we don't have a whole. We have 5 pi over 6. So I need to take out 1 sixth away from this. So to do that, what I like to do is I like to just take my half of my circle and break it up into thirds. Then I split those in half. So now I broke it up into six. So therefore, I can see if I start here and rotate a ray all the way to here, which is 1 6 less than 6 6, I now have sketched my angle 5 pi over 6. And since it's counterclockwise, it's in the positive direction. And there you go. Thanks.